Hello, how to get metallic pads? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. That uh, metallic pads enter this game after the end game 2.0 update. It's not the last uh, update in this game, but as you can see behind here, I have got two metallic pads. I can press two on my keyboard, and I can show the one is a uh, one bloodhound pop, and also I have got the way wayward spirits. So, well, this is uh, the explanation on what you have to do to get one. The first thing you have to do is that you have to work with your shiny score because you can't get metallic pad before you have done an upgrade for it. And what you first have to do, you have to get shiny score up to 100 to get into Grotto. After you have managed to do that, you have to continue to work until you get your shiny score up to 1000 uh, score. And you can see this is my shiny score at the current, I have 78,000 and it's got building up tremendously fast here. So it, the, I know it's difficult to get shiny pad in the beginning, but it is going to be easier and easier and easier for you as well as you are playing the game. So when after you have got the 1000 in shiny score, you can run in here to the new area that is called Groove. And up here you have something that is similar to the Rebirth platform and you will need to do this upgrade. You see my next upgrade now is costing 10,000 stones. Yes, it is extremely expensive and I guess it's gonna be <laughs> even more expensive the further I want to get this thing up here. Because we can update it many, 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 many levels. I think and we have like 100 upgrade on this one here. So it's gonna take a lot of stones. The first level is only 10 stones. And then it goes rapidly up to 10,000 and then it seems to keep doing 10,000 for many times. I don't know if it's gonna be more expensive later on, but that we will see, we will see later on. So this is the way you have to unlock the metallic pad. So yes, now we know how to unlock it and also that uh, that rebirth or metallic board that you saw there, if you increase, if you pay more upgrades for it, it's gonna be a better uh, drop rate for them and so on. But we're gonna come back to that in the end of the video. But what can you do to try to even make it more possible for one to get it? Well, it is to hatch more eggs. Okay, how can we hatch more eggs? The first thing you have to do is that you have to uh, rebirth uh, the first time, at least here, so that you can get into the rebirth area. When you are in the rebirth area, there is one update here that is helping tremendously on the normal hatching. Not the automatic hatching that I have done here, I can turn that off. So with the normal hatching here, <coughs> th this one is the update that you want to do, so that you can hatch more eggs. The more eggs you can hatch, the more likelihood it is that you're gonna get it. So when you have got in the rebirth cave and so on, and when you have getting 10,000 pet score, yes, 10,000 pet score, you can get into this new area with these three fantastic machines here. So these machines uh, have different uh, uh, functionalities, which I'm gonna cover in other videos. In this one, we are only talking about metallic pets. So what is it called important for metallic pets? It is the hatching speed. So it's this upgrade here, it's <laughs> you can upgrade up to 5 eggs per second and that's what you see that's going down here on the bottom of my corner and this is the operation for it. I can select which egg I want to operate. Just remember, don't put the hatch speed so fast that you don't can afford it. I have a tune mine so that I can have epic all the time and also open manually legendary egg at the same time. So that's my tuning. It depends on how much gold income you have where you can do this. So this is gonna help you tremendously for getting those metallic pets. And there is also a, a third thing that is gonna help you to get these metallic pets. When you have got first the metallic pets, we have a new achievement that is called metallic score. So just by getting one here will increase it 10% and by getting three you will have 20% and so on up here. So it's important to get the, pet, the first pets. And the first pet is gonna be all about luck, right? So you just have to stay in there, be patient, it can take a long time. They will, what you can do to try to do something with the lock is to upgrade this one as much as you can and also getting your hatching speed as, up, as much as you can until you get one and then you're gonna get this extra boost from the achievements that we see down here that is an incredible good boost. But let us go into the detail and see how all of this is working together in an Excel sheet. So here we are in the Excel sheet and I have, it's uh, just a simple calculation that I have done here. I have the base, as you can see, I, uh, this is the base drop rate that you have for metallic pads. 
and then you also and just remember that the base drop rate is in percentage right so the base for this if I put this down to one here and we put this down to to zero here uh, one here I meant you will see uh, that the base drop rate is one in ten million I know somebody think it's one in hundred thousand but that is an old number that you have heard from some leak before the number is 1 in 10 million when you have no metallic pads and you only have the first upgrade. As you can see, if you don't have the first upgrade, it's <laughs> you will not get it. You just get an ammo error. But if you have the first upgrade, you will uh, get a number here and it's 1 in 10 million. So the basically what I, I have got here, just by getting like 1, um, one metallic pads, it's gonna tremendously increase it up to one in uh, nine uh, million. But what is really important is to upgrade this one. I have upgraded it 13 times and you can see mine is one in 670. So what is the best drop rate you can get totally? I think it's 100, you can upgrade in this one and this one can get up to two. So the best drop rate you can get in metallic pads in one in 50,000. So yes, there will be possible in way into the future to get a lot of these metallic pads. And also, th that's quite important to know for, for, for that. So put this back to where mine, mine is currently, so which is the realistic number that I have, and have 13 here, and uh, believe me, this is expensive because the first 10 upgrade is not that expensive. Upgrade number 11, 12 and 13 is 10,000 stones each. So this is an expensive upgrade. The only thing is also the hatch speed. I have a hatch speed of 2.56 and also if I took manually on I can hatch about 90 eggs a day and that means I can hatch up to 350 uh, eggs a day. This means that Approximately, I'm gonna get uh, a metallic pet every second day at the moment. Uh, ratio I have this one here. I can be upgrading to five, but I will never have. The, then I have to have to uh, kind of hatch no common or uncommon or something like that. And I can be hatching tremendously egg here. But it mean mine is on 2.56, which is the one I have, and I'm gonna have with that number. If you have this down at like just one, you can see you can hash way fewer egg, but still it's gonna be a quite decent number. It's not bad at all. So the last thing I want to explain is how is it we are working with these metallic pads. Let us bring up the metallic pad again, and you can see the first one I have is of the first uh, tier here. Right? So the first here is this one. How do you get the second one, which is the golden? Well, it is quite simple. The ne if the next time I get the same metallic pet, the next time I get the Bloodhound pop again, it goes up a tier. And the next kind of the time I get it, this again, it goes up a tier. So you have to get it like five times to get the highest tier for this pet. So basically, that is how Metallic Pads is working. I hope this is helping you. I will come back with other guys, guides for you. This was number one Game of Dad, Viper Toffee. Like and subscribe, and bye bye.